The idea of this study is to do a large study looking at giving intravenous progesterone to patients immediately after a brain injury in the hope that it's going to decrease the disability from the brain injury and possibly even the rates of death from the brain injury. So the whole point behind the study is that many years ago uh, researchers at Emory and others found out that when they were looking at rats who had brain injuries, they noticed that the female rats that got bonked on the head compared to the male rats that got bonked on the head tend to do better. And eventually they figured out that it was because, at least partly it was a big part, that the progesterone levels in those female rats was playing a role in it. Eventually they treated rats and other animals by giving doses of progesterone after a brain injury and figured out that it was working. The FDA has guidelines called Exception from Informed Consent. It uses a, a acronym called EFIC. And the whole reason behind these guidelines is that, for, for instances just like this study, where someone can't consent, and often it's an emergency situation where a patient's legally authorized guardian or next of kin isn't present to give consent. And in a situation like this where we think that a treatment has to be given very quickly and very early in the disease process, the FDA has allowed this to occur where we potentially start a patient in this trial without getting consent. With the idea, again, that this is something that needs to be given quickly to work, that has promise of making a big difference in the patients and future patients, and that is, is safe.